Hi, let's take a look at layer management in Spectral Layer Pro 7. Now, if we look at this web file here, we, uh, we could choose any selection tools uh, in here. And when you select a selection tool, you have preferences up here, which allows you to replace selections, add to selections, or subtract, or intersect with selections. For example, if I take a lasso and define a section within the project, as you can see, it's ranging that section. So if I hit the play function, I will just hear that selection here, that range selection only. Now, if I want multiple selection within that file, I can switch preferences, say add to selection, for example, and I can add to that selection here. I can also subtract some of the regions. Maybe I just want that section here or remove that section here. Or I can just subtract completely, which means I want this section only. Now, if I go back to one selection, let's say I want to cut this section. I have different options under Edit. I can simply cut this section. It will automatically remove that section completely. Or I can use Cut Special and cut this section to a new layer. So you actually give it a color. You can change the color if you want by clicking on it. Give it the different colors if you want. Now I have the original file, which is if I solo that original file, you could see I cut this section here. So it's no longer there. And, and solo that. I've got my entire file here and I can just solo the cut section I have here, which is separate. From here, I can add another layer. I'm going to use a different selection tool. I'm going to get the harmonic selection tool. Select some harmonics here. And I'm going to switch preferences to add to selection. And I'm going to add more harmonics to this layer in here. Now under edit, cut special, I'm going to cut to new layer. So now I have a new layer with just the harmonics, color pink. I can adjust the volume up and down of the harmonics. You can see in pink there, as well as the layer number two here in blue and the main layer. Now to reset the volume to zero dB, just double click on the volume bar. Now I can create a group folder. I'll name the group folder cut. And from there I can simply drag the different layers inside that folder. Now I can also add layers to an existing layer. For example, uh, I select my original file, which is this file here, uh, my frequency, frequency range selection tool. I'm just going to grab some low end here and I'm going to cut this from the original file, but this time I'm going to cut special to layer below. And if I look at my layer now on layer two, I just add some low end to this section here. Now let's just close this folder. Now I have another option. I can create layers and actually copy paste, add to my original file. For example, if I want to add additional harmonics to this piece, maybe in here, for example, I can just say I'm going to copy special and I'm going to copy to a new layer, just this harmonics here. Now let's uh, add another layer. We're going to use the lasso selection tools. We're going to select a region here and under edit, we're going to select copy special, copy to a separate layer, right? So the main difference between the two, between, again, between the cut and the copy paste, essentially when you're cutting, you're subtracting different layers from the original file. And when you copy paste, obviously adding different layers to the original file.